Hey friends, it's Gazebo here, and welcome back to Cuphead. I'm looking at the list here, and it looks like we've got two levels left for World 3. Plus, you know, the Devil, uh, Mr. Uh, not Mr. King Dice, and uh, all of the DLC. There we go, that's what I was trying to say. I was blanking for a second. Unfortunately, it was a running gun I was struggling with, Calamaria, which I was struggling with, and then the devil, who I'm gonna struggle with. Okay. And immediately I'm getting more quiet than I should. It's just how it goes, typically. Oh, I almost ran right into him. Ow. Alrighty. This is where we typically get to. Um, I'm probably gonna try and skip the coin. Which isn't how I've played any other level, but you know, it's how I'm gonna have to play this one if I want to get to the end of it, from what I've experienced so far. Never mind, I got the coin. Okay. You know, that was good uh, practice. That was a practice run. Yep, I was getting into the rhythm of it. Ow. Ow. Ow, okay. Man. These practice runs, I tell ya. Um, let's try chaser shot? Uh, why not? Okay, so... I think I've seen clips of this one. It's just kind of a standard run away to survive type of level, I believe. Uh, there was a fire there. That's the furthest we've gotten, though. So, that's good. So, I think... Yeah, we're gonna stick with the chaser. And then when we get to the, uh, elevator-type bit... That's when we switch to the roundabout. Okay, we'll sacrifice a hit there. And we'll sacrifice a hit there, because who, you know, who needs health? Health is for nerds. Health is for tryhards, you know. We're doing a zero HP run. Uh, which is not a run where we lose zero HP, no, no, no. It is a run where we have no health, ever. I always miscalculate that jump and that one. Okay. Here we go. Attempt who knows anymore. Let's try not to spend the entire video on this level uh, like we did with the Iron Giant. Um... Oh, I had to jump because the thing was getting too low. That was... Uh... Okay. So, we go through here. That's easy. 
should be. It's the beginning of the level. Then we get here. And we struggle a little bit more. Get this first coin. Out, dashed into that one. Out, jumped into that one. See, that first, um, I'm gonna call it Cave of Wonders, because that's what it reminds me of. Uh, that first one is just, like, really annoying to pass for some reason. And my voice is cracking, because I have been up for 24 hours. Um... <laughs> For no particular reason. Uh, but that first Cave of Wonders, as we're deciding to call them, real just kind of irritating. Okay. Okay. So the roundabout there, real useful. Have to adjust my glasses, this is the perfect time to do it. So those are half goats, so those would be satyrs, right? Really, this whole place seems to be inspired by Greek mythology specifically. gotten to the boss again. Alright. We gotta focus on this one. is this chase sequence because I don't think I can survive it much longer there we go we died we probably only had a couple of jumps left there didn't we um, man we've already been re uh, recording for 12 minutes here <sighs> jumped into that fire. Ow. Okay, for some reason it wouldn't let me fire backwards when I turned around. That was kind of dumb. I also got quiet so I can probably uh, scrap most of that round anyway. Um, I would like to say uh, while I'm here and I have your attention chat, uh, I noticed right before recording this, we've hit 45 subscribers, and that is really cool, chat. That's really cool. Uh, keep up the watching and subscribing. <laughs> Not to shamelessly promote myself, but uh, that's what this is. <laughs> so uh, if you're not subscribed and you're liking the video, you know, that subscribe button uh, is just down, just down below me here.
if you uh, feel so inclined to give it a little click. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> um, now, I'm trying to think what to talk about. Maybe the fact I keep dying, because I can't seem to learn my lesson. Um, but no, I enjoy this game. Uh, the simple fact of, like, the art style, I really like the art style, is it's different. But, uh, I always loved classic cartoons growing up, like the older stuff, like, um, I'm trying to think. I watched a lot of Popeye growing up, um, not technically an older, like, this era, but I also liked Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin was, uh, cool. That was one of my favorites as a kid. So, um, I don't know, it's something about the old cartoon era. It just, it hits different. It's part of the reason I love Bendy and the Ink Machine as much as I do, really. That game's all about the, uh, old era cartoons. Not only that, but it's also, you know, about making the old era cartoons. So how could you, how could you dislike that? Back when everything was hand drawn. For the simple sake of that's how it had to be. And, uh, you know, like, a lot of the older cartoons, despite, you know, aging and everything, they have, you know, that kind of, like, simple look. Like, they're simplistic, but in so, they are still, like, iconic in a way, you know? They, uh, it, while simplistic in design, are almost immediately recognizable. I mean, some of the characters, if outlived their shows, think Popeye, you know, they still sell cans of spinach with him on it. And I'm dead again. <laughs> Here goes. Um, trying to think of other characters have, who have lived that long. Um, Casper the Ghost is pretty far out there in ways of age. You don't see him in marketing as much, but... Still, you know, iconic. Uh, I guess the biggest example would be Mickey Mouse, but why, uh, why watch Disney when you could have been watching Max Fleischer? You know, the people who did everything Disney claimed to do, but they did it first. Of course, their imagery was always a bit darker and a bit more morbid, depicting more uh, human characters. Um, but you know, Disney was better at sales and was actually where the movies were. The Fleischer Brothers were in New York, so uh, they didn't have the same closeness to uh, the big movie studios that uh, Walt Disney had. If it's not really clear, I, uh, I really like old cartoons. <laughs> um. But the fact that they can remake, like, that era, like, cartoon style in video games is, like, really interesting to me. 
because it's like it's a very simple design choice but it's one that works really well and my voice doesn't sound that into it because I'm very tired and very focused on trying not to die who'd have guessed Keep jumping into that one. Need to knock that off. Ow. That's why you need to look before you leap, kids. <laughs> That's why you need to leap while you look, kids. <laughs> So, I get that most of this is based in Greek mythology. What's up with the, uh, the uh, clay monsters? Oh, there's a snowplow or something going by. It's real loud. But, uh, what, what's up with the clay things? I don't... I might be from stories that weren't discussed in high school history uh, and English class, but, uh... Oh, there's got to be a story behind them. Seeing as everything else in this level is heavily Greek-inspired, there's got to be a reason for the clay monsters. It only goes to assume. Um... I don't like the fire being part of this level or part of this area of the level anyway because it's like you have to wait to avoid it but you can't really wait oh how did I feel like I shouldn't have missed that platform I don't know hmm You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, well, first I'm going to just <laughs> sacrifice this level. I think I'm just gonna jump cut right up into when I'm towards the end of this level and I've actually beaten it. That way I can actually get to fighting Calamaria yeah, properly in this run. So I'm probably just gonna stop talking right now. Okay, this might be the run. This might be the run. Okay, I had to skip a coin, but we did it. That's fine, I guess. There wasn't really anything to parry in that level. I'll, I'll take a C plus, I guess. Um, that just leaves Calamaria. Which, unfortunately, I have to go like, clear out and around to do that one. Let's see how this goes. We've gotten pretty close before. Okay, forgot about the ghosts. Well, I didn't forget about them. I more or less forgot the rhythm of them. fish combined with the ghosts. Mm. 
Well, that was... You know what? Could have gone worse. I'll take it. <laughs> For our first attempt. Because she's not nef uh She's one of the ones where it's like, she's not necessarily difficult. There's just a lot going on all at once. I have the no. Okay. There's an item that gives you one extra hit point. Um, I don't really like using it because it decreases your score if you still take the you know required three hits to uh, subtract your score. But if it ends up being what I have to do at some point, I'm not entirely above it. Okay, I'm fine with this combination. This combination's okay. That attack, I don't know how to I'm, how I'm supposed to avoid it. If there is a way to avoid it. Which there doesn't seem to be because it takes up the majority of the screen. Okay. This one's an awkward combination of things. But it's not the worst. Oh, if I'm, like, super close to her, I don't get hit by it. But that also puts me at higher risk of the eels. Oh, wasn't paying attention to where I was going. Okay. I don't really know what to say about this one. Um, it's kind of, uh, seems to be influenced by Greek mythology as well with sirens and uh, the Gorgons, specifically Medusa. Which, I feel like those influencers, uh, influences are f fairly uh, obvious in this one. Ow. Apparently, running into the seahorse hurts you. This is probably not going to be my run. I think my best bet for this one is to use that super as often as I can. I took a hit there that was... Took a dumb hit that I shouldn't have taken there. Is more apt for what I should say. Ow. The eel popped up right beneath me. Alright. This section... It's annoying that she can still turn me to stone there. Uh... Seeing as there's a bunch of stuff I need to, you know, avoid. Mm. 
Oh, this is my least favorite combo. <laughs> This one's pretty bad, too. I played the audio for her screaming way before she actually got zapped. Okay, not much I could have done there. I supposed to do there. Hey, we did it. Okay, my voice is a bit coarse, so I think we're gonna leave this one, uh, this one here. Oh, there goes my phone charger. <laughs> and, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, leave down in below, should we move on to the devil or, um, straight to the DLC first? Uh, that's important information. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.